Setting your rear view mirrors properly will ensure that you can always see what's behind your car, even if you don't have a high-tech blind spot monitor or one of the new full-time rear view cameras that are hitting the market. Is there really a correct way to position your rear view mirrors? When it comes to side mirrors, the answer is definitely yes. Many drivers will position the side mirror to show an expanse of the side of the car. Why do that? Are you afraid the rear of the car is going to vanish if you don't keep an eye on it? What this does is it limits the field of view of the side mirror. If you tilt the mirror outward, you start to see what it's been missing, such as another car. To position your side mirrors, make sure your driver's seat's where you want it, and then lean a little bit to the left, look out the side mirror, and adjust it so just the very slightest amount of the car is visible on that inside edge. Then lean a little bit to the right and do the same on the right side mirror. What this does is it allows you to see the car if you're backing up or parking just by leaning a little bit. But in most cases, driving straight, you get the full field of view out of both mirrors. With this arrangement, every car behind you, three lanes wide, should be visible in at least one mirror. Also, if the car passes you on the right, as soon as it leaves that right side door mirror, it should appear in the window itself. High-tech features are nice, but drivers should always check their blind spots, no matter what features they have. And of course, set their mirrors properly to see all there is to see.